you're working on a project around your house where you're using small nails, small piece of trim, big fingers, big hammer, you get the picture. It could be very painful. Joe has a few tips for us to handle that. Well, in this case, Danny, where we're nailing a narrow stop around the inside of this window, it's difficult to hold the tiny nail up there and hammer it without hit striking your fingers. So one technique is to use a pair of needle nose pliers to hold the nail. And this is simple enough and it works really well, but if you don't happen to have your needle nose pliers with you, you still have to go back to holding it by your hand. Now, I've tried that trick and it does work fairly well, but what about the old fashioned cardboard trick? Well, this is another idea that you can use. You just take a thin strip of cardboard or thick paper, cut a slit in it. You can use that to hold the nail. And it works basically the same way as the pliers. It allows you to keep your fingers a safe distance away. And what about those situations where you have a real narrow area you may be working on and your hammer and trying to hold that up? Uh, how do you right. handle that? Well, in this case, you see I'm trying to nail up near the corner and there is very little space. But all you need for that is a pencil with a nice thick eraser on it. Take your utility knife and cut a slit in the eraser all the way down to the metal ferrule. And then you can use the eraser as a little clamp. See, it just grips the nail, and you can use that to hold the nail up in place. And as you, once you get the nail started, you can then pull the pencil away and finish nailing it off. Now, if you'll use these little tips, it'll, it'll ensure that you're hitting the right nail instead of your fingernail.